What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves cool. We got ourselves a heavy meta team with Zacian and Kyogre that features one-off meta Pokemon, Reggie Draco. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community, and help support me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. So huge shout out to all the subscribers, everybody who likes videos, and everybody who just tunes in and watches. Like I said, it really goes a long way. It really does. But we're rocking out here with a pretty cool team. I've been using some off meta teams on the rank ladder. So I was just like, yo, let me use a nice little meta team right here that features like maybe like one off meta Pokemon. And I found this team right here. So hopefully we get the showcase to its fullest potential and grab ourselves some win. But let's get started here with the team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Sassy. Top tier restricted mon in this meta right now. It's got an interpret sword. Rusted Sword, obviously, as its item and ability. Then we got Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Quick Attack for first turn priority. And last but not least, we're rocking Protect. Second Pokemon on our squad is going to be Indeedy over here. Great support mon for any team. It's got the Psychic Surge to have terrain control, alongside with the Focus Sash, so it can't get one tap. Normal move set for him, Expanded Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, Protect. Really can't go wrong with this move set. Middle left is the one and only Rillaboom. Rillaboom is just a phenomenal Pokemon. Can hit like a truck, great in G-Max, good at uh, flinches and fake out control. It's just wonderful. It's just a wonderful Pokemon. We got Grassy Search for terrain control. Rose Incest to actually boost our grass damage. Fake out for flinches. Grassy Glide for stab. High horsepower for coverage. And last but not least, we're Rock and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on squad, the one and only Kyogre. We got legit the two best Restricted mods on the team. Zassian and Kyogre. He's so, so good. This thing has the Drizzle ability for weather control. Then we got Life Orb as our item. And then we got Water Spout, Thunder, Blizzard, and Protect. And I really do like this moveset for a Kyogre with a Life Orb. Because we're probably going to be Dynamaxing this Kyogre. So giving him a moveset like this is really, really good. It's really good for us. Bottom left hand corner is the one and only Reggie Draco. And back in like, I don't even know, was it Series 8, Series 9? Something around there. When Reggie Draco first came out, I remember using him on the rank ladder, just tailwinding and using Dragon's Maul. Or not Dragon's Maul, using Dragon Energy with the Dragon Maul's ability. And legit just sweeping teams left and right. Like nobody knew how to play up against it. But now, people know how to play up against this guy. He was okay. Hopefully we get some sweeps. Hopefully we get some big damage off on him. But we got the Dragon Maul's ability, which actually boosts Dragon type moves. We got the Choice Specs, which actually boosts our damage again. And then we got Dragon Energy, which is basically Water Spout for Dragon. And then we got Dragon Meteor, Dragon Pulse, and Hyper Beam for our coverage move. Final Pokemon on squad is Wimscott, another support mon and really good at speed control due to its Tailwind and Prankster ability. We got Eject Button as our item, and we also have Switcheroo as one of our moves. So we can actually hand off this Eject Button and then, you know, hit the Pokemon, make them swap out. Hopefully we get to use it on Dynamax Mon. It can be really cool. We also have Moonblast for Stab and then Helping Hand to make Ally Pokemon do a little bit more damage. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the run of the code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Zassian, Kyogre, and Reggie Drago team. Going up against a top tier Yvelta and Groudon team for battle number one, let's grab ourselves a victory here. He also has Grimmsnarl, Incinemore, Charizard obviously for that G-Max, and then he has the Storm Drain Gastron, which I think I definitely have to watch out for. I definitely have to watch out for that, but who should I go into this one, and how should I play it? I could go Whimsicott here, maybe switch to an item and go from there, or I can just go him and Reggie Drago, which could be really, really good for us. I am digging that. That's some big damage with like a helping hand. Let me see this Pokemon speed. Let me see my boy's speed. 145, if we could Tailwind and get that up, we could be thriving. We could be thriving. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna roll out with these two. I'm gonna roll out with these two. I'm gonna bring Zassian in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm gonna bring Kyogre for weather control. And potentially Dynamax. Probably Dynamax. If we're bringing this squad, he has to be our Dynamax Mon. He has to be our Dynamax Mon. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Because I do not mind Dynamax him, considering we have Blizzard as one of our moves. So that can actually change into ice. Or was it Blizzard or was it Ice Beam? It was an ice move. I think it was Blizzard. But we can actually Dynamax that. Change it into a max hailstorm, change the weather that way instead of going into geyser because he does have storm during gas time, which we always have to keep in the back of our head. We have to keep it in the back of our mind. But yo, I got a good question of the day for you guys. Ready for it? Answer it in the comment section down below. If you guys could ban three Pokemon, what Pokemon would you choose? Three Pokemon out of this whole series, who would you choose? One for me would definitely be Incineroar. I think he's got to go. He's very strong, but I, he's just got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. So I'm going to say Incineroar. Who else am I going to say here? Incineroar? I think I'm gonna say Zassian and maybe Kyogre. They're just like the two, like, or like the three, like, you know, just like, they're the guys. They're the guys. And I feel like if you take them out, the whole meta would change. I, mean, I really do think it would. But let's see, what is this guy gonna go into? He could Tailwind, obviously, right? He could fake me out, which is kind of scary. But I'm just gonna go into a Dragon Energy. I know it has no effect on Grimstrong, but getting off this damage onto Charizard could be really, really good for us. So let's see what he does. He is gonna Dynamax. Now, what's gonna switch a Ruby's item? I was going to switch a Ruby's item. We'll see how this one plays. 
If I can get off this tailwind and he doesn't touch my whimsicott, then I could really like where we're sitting. Because then I can just switch a next turn and kind of just get after him. Let's see what he does. What is this dude's play? Is he faking out, setting up screens? No. What is he doing? Spirit breaking, maybe? I think he's going for a spirit break. Let's see. Dragon energy is going to poke here. It's going to have no effect on the Grimmy. And we're going to get off some big damage on the Charizard. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Wildfire is going to poke. And who's he taking out? He's going to take out Wimscott with that. So Wimscott is going to go down here. And I think Reggie Draco is going to go down here as well. But I think he is going to spirit break. And then that on top of the wildfire damage. They definitely do his dirty. But if we can eat up a turn, we could be sitting in such a good spot. We could be sitting in such a good spot. But he's going to go spirit break here. And... Yeah, Red Draco goes down one shot. Look at that. 275 HP. That thing just gets... Oh, it's a crit. It's a crit. Wow. It's a crit. Wow. But yeah, wildfire damage definitely could have been doing me dirty. But I really do like that turn, to be honest with you. Even though it was quick, I really, I'm really, i liking this turn. I really like that turn. I can Dynamax Kyogre from here. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Dynamax Kyogre. We have speed. Do I even go for a Water Spout? I don't know. We're not going. We're not going for a geyser. I think we Dynamax and go for a hailstorm here. I just roll off from there. Definitely could be a play. Obviously, I want a Behemoth Blade over on this slot, and I'm thinking of just going here and just hailstorm and taking out you. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Grimstar might be setting up screens at this point. But yeah, the turn wasn't as bad as it looked. Like it looked like okay, we just dropped two Pokemon, but we got speed. We got damage off on his Dynamax Pokemon, and now we have speed with Zacian. Dynamax with Kyogre, two of the best Pokemon in the game. It's not looking bad for us. It is not looking bad for us. Like I said, the one Pokemon we have to watch out for is Storm during Gastron. So I'm going to play a little passive here and just let him play off of this and see what he's going to do. Because if he throws out Groudon, which I'm guessing he has, I can just ice it. I have Sacred, or Sacred Sword and uh, Behemoth Blade to roll through at first turn priority with Quick Attack. We have a lot going on here. He's going to guard. That's totally fine. Let's see what he's going to go for. He's just going to go for Scary Face. Slow me down a little bit. That's fine. We have Tailwind. I'm with it. Tailwind is thriving. And we're going to take out Grimstar here. The Grimmy Grim is gone. Grimmy Grim is gone. Grim's trying to get out of my face. So he scary faces us. That's fine. Like I said, it just cancels out Tailwind for Zacian. Zacian is still a very, very fast Pokemon. A very, very fast Pokemon. So we're going to take out Grim's trial. Of, of course, we're not going to take out Grim's trial. Uh Now we're just going to Quick Attack, right? Will Quick Attack come out before Prankster? It might. It might. It might, but Wildfire's chipping. We do not like that. We do not like Wildfire one. <laughs> we do not like wildfire one bit but uh quick attack's gonna poke here and what do i do do i lightning no i'm just gonna hailstorm here hailstorm is definitely our play just in case he wants to swap into gashon if he swaps into gashon he swaps into gashon but i just can't force a lightning and a geyser and waste another dynamax turn when hailstorm can do the job and take out this charge on no problem let's see what he does hopefully a quick attack comes out first because i do not want to get scary face again cool quick attack comes through here. later later dude get him out of here he's gone that dude's gone. Kyogre should go next. We're going to say bye-bye to Charizard. Now it turns to a 2v2, and we have one more turn left in Dynamax, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous, which is just lovely. It is just lovely. And if I had to guess his two Pokemon in the back end, it should be Groudon and Storm Drain Gash. If I had to guess the two, if I had to guess the two. Or he could have brought two of his Restricted Mons, which would be Groudon and Yubelto, which I wouldn't mind. I mean, he does have Foul Play on it, which is kind of scary. But we can see how this one plays out. So again, I can just drop hail and start going from there. Wildfire's doing me dirty, dude. Look how much damage he's doing. For no reason. For no reason. Let's see who he brings out here. I'm going to lie. Yveltas kind of scary with the foul plays. Yveltas definitely scary with the foul plays. But he's going to go into Yvelta. And is this Yvelta Groudon? No Storm Drain? No Storm Drain allows me to just go straight into water. Yeah, okay. Uh, we could take Weather here. Could definitely take weather with the with the orb. Hmm. Is that what I do, or do I, or do I take out the Shiveltal? I'm thinking of just taking out Shiveltal. Maybe protecting here. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Or not Trick Room Tailwind. One. And then I believe he's going to grant get a little bit of speed here. I'm going to take out Shiveltal. The geyser here and take weather. No, I think I just, I think I just double down in this thing. I'm going to double down on this thing. Maybe, maybe Groudon can protect. Let's see. Sucker Punch is going to fly through here. That's fine. I'm not protecting my Zacian. We're getting right after this. Hailstorm's going to fly here. I need to get rid of this. I need to get rid of you. Because we're going to change up the weather. And then Blitzer is 100% accuracy. Which, 
gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. So we take weather back. Um, hopefully my boy can actually go before here. This could be good for us because we absolutely just dumped on Yvelta. Zashian should go before this, right? right? Yeah, Zashian should be faster. He's not. Can you eat that up, Zashian? No, he does not. It's rough. That's rough. How wasn't Zashian out speeding that thing? I want to see Zashian speed. I want to see Zashian speed. And we might lose this one. If he protects you, I think he wins, right? Or well, now Wildfire should be gone. Who's fat? Wow, what? I'm confused how Zassian's slower. That Groudon's cooking. That Groudon's cooking. Let me, let me check out the speed on Zassian here. He's gotta be like 140. Like, he's gotta be on the slower side. Let's see your, let's see your stats, dude. Let's see your stats. What? 195? And that thing outsped you? That thing's gotta be choice. Is that thing choice? Is that thing choice? 195. That, it's got to be choice. He's going to outspeed me all day. He's going to outspeed my Kyogre all day. Yeah. Oh, my God. This thing's got to be choice. Unless I'm missing something. Unless I'm missing something. Let's see what happens here. Right, he's going to outspeed me. Yeah, dude. That's GG's. That's GG's. Wow, yo. Ground on coming in clutch. That's got to be choice. That's got to be choice. But what a first battle. What a first battle. We got through a second. Look to go. Or look to grab ourselves our first win. And roll out from there. So guys, I checked our last opponent's team, and that Groudon was Choice Scarf. Are you kidding me? We'd lost to an item. We'd lost to an item, but still, yo, that's GG's. What a wonderful battle in battle number one. We're hopping into our second one, and we're going up against a really cool team. Faramosa, Gravantula, who is one of my favorites of all time. He also has Zacian, Lunala, Amoongus, and Intimidate Landers. How are we playing this one? How are we going into it? Uh, what is Jeans doing here? Wimscott's probably got to come in here. Wimscott could be good for speed control, switcheroo, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. We could go back into you. I kind of like my boy Reggie Draco. <laughs> I, I do like Reggie Draco, but I don't know if we should lead him. Could go my boy Kyogre here. Kyogre's not shabby at all. After a Talon? Woo! Let me get thriving with that. I'm thinking going here, here, Zacian, and my boy Rilla. I do like my boy Rilla. Let's rock it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, if that Groudon was not Choice Scarf, that was an easy win for us. It was an easy win because Zassian would have went before, got off a big old Behemoth Blade on it. Probably wouldn't have killed it, but would have did some big damage. And then probably my uh my Kyogre, or well, not my, yeah, my Kyogre should have been able to outspeed. Should have been able to outspeed. Actually, I got to see because I think I checked that Groudon speed. It was like 140 something. It was 140 something. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll check my Kyogre speed right now. He's going to go into Grab Vantula alongside with Landers. And this is like a free Tailwind into Water Spot. A free Tailwind into Water Spot. No problem, right? Seems like it's free turn. The Grab is a little scaring me. I know that Pokemon is really fast. You can set up Sticky Webs. But I think in Tailwind, my uh, my Kyogre should just be able to outspeed and drop a big old Water Spot. But I want to see my Kyogre speed. I want to see your speed. What's your speed at, my dude? 139. Oh, I think that... Uh, I think that Groudon was faster regardless. So I think we would have lost that one regardless. Would have definitely been close. Would have definitely been close. If I remember correctly, I think it was like I think it was low 140s. But still. Still. Choice Scarf did us dirty. We're gonna go into a tailwind here. We're popping a water spout. He's giving me no reason not to pop a water spout, right? Revanch is probably uh focus sash. And if Lander stays in this battle, he a gone. He a goner. Even if he dynamaxes, he's a goner. I'm actually hoping he dynamaxes. Because again, we're just gonna tailwind. Oh, he is not. Oh my god, we love it. We love it. I think that's the Landers. If it's a Grab Vantula, it's still gonna take a big amount of damage. A big amount of damage. Oh, it's Lando. It's Lando. Unless he has a first turn priority move to make our eject button prop. We have pranks are like, dude, it's Is it over? I think it's over. This guy might quit. This guy might quit after this. He might quit after this, because this Kai Ogre is going to murk on this Lando. Stab, super effective life orb. Get him out of here. Oh, it didn't kill him. He's on one. But we killed Grab Vantula. <laughs> He's on one. What you mean? Oh, that's a huge turn for us. This dude's probably very upset. He's going to go for an airstream. Is that going after Whimsy? Kai Ogre. So, Tiger's going to do that. He's going gra to grant a speed boost. And if this thing's life orb, we can tell him to go home. He's not orb. But still, we outspeed him, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Now I can, I could go for the blizzard. What do I want to do? I would rather just go for a, uh, a moon blast and that thing take him out. What a turn for us. What a turn for us. He brings out Zacian. And in this case, you know, I'm just going to drop a thunder into that thing. Try to get it paralyzed. We know it's 100% accuracy. I'm just going to moon blast onto the Lando. Right? All good things. All good things. I can actually... 
Do we make him swap? Nah, there's no, there's no, there's no need for it right now. No need for it. I, th I just think this is the play. I just think this is the play. He might max guard onto the Lando. I don't think Lando outspeeds my Whimsicott. Because he's plus one, but we're plus two. Yeah. Get him out of here. Goner. Goner. Big KO. Big time KO. And then if my Whimsicott's still chilling here, I'm just going to switch through the item onto his uh, last Pokemon. And then bring out Rollaboom and Dynamax Rollaboom. I play all day. Thunder's going to poke here. We have a high chance of getting paralyzed. Which which we can hope. We can hope. Half his damage about. Give me the para. Woo! High chance of para with the Thunders. We get it. And Zassi's going to take out one of my mons. Who's he going for? Who's he going for? That, that KO's either mon. That KO's either mon. So now I just bring out my really, really... Ooh, he takes out him. That's totally fine. Now I just bring out my really, really... And I Dynamax him. It's pretty much GG's, yo. That's how we make up for battle number one. That's how we make up for battle number one. We're not even going to use Zassian. We don't want him. We don't need him. We don't need him, my guys. We do not need the best Pokemon in the game. Because we are the best Pokemon in the game. We are the best. He's going to show his final mon. It's going to be Lunala. Lunala. Lunala is going to fly out here. And yeah, I, I, I could fake out. I could definitely fake out. But I'm thinking of just doing this. This should take you out, right? Yeah, Quick should definitely take you out. And then, you know, I could just do this. And go for Paralyze on that slot. I'm with it. G maxing a really, really boo. My big old drum monkey. Drum gorilla, my fault. He's a gorilla, not a monkey. Right? There's like there's like 80 different forms of monkeys. Or I don't even know if they're considered monkeys. Because like, monkeys are their own thing. There's monkeys, orangutans, gorillas. There, 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 there's more than that that I, that I can't name. But there's plenty. Le lemurs are part of that family, I feel like. Lemurs are sick. And then I feel like lemurs kind of can go down into the chinchilla family. <laughs> like They just all connect. They all connect. It's awesome. They're all cousins of one another. We're going to drop a thunder here. We're looking for a nice little paralyze. Give me a paralyze. Give me the paralyze. High chance paralyze. Bang. There it is again. Two for two on the paras. You love to see it. Life first going to chip away some damage. And Max Quake's going to fly here. Giving us that special defense boost up against Lunala. And more importantly, should be able to take out Zassian, right? Get him out of here. Get him going. Get him going. That's GG's. Get him out of here. But yo, I, I love how like Rillaboom's like Gigantamax form is he just pulls out a wicked drum set. Like huge bunch of symbols and then he grows like a bunch of vine arms with a bunch of drumsticks in his hands. This thing's paralyzed, he can't move. Let's point and laugh at him. Haha <laughs> Lunala. <laughs> and now we'll just roll out here. Drop a G Max jump solo. Go for another thunder. It's over with. It's over with. We have Zassy in the back, but I do not want to use Zassy. That's the last Pokemon I want to use. But look at this damage this thing does. 160. God dang. And it goes through his shadow shield. We love. So we'll Blizzard. We're not Blizzard. We'll Thunder again because, again, it's 100% action. And he just cancels the battle regardless. There it is. One and one. Let's go hop into a third and grab ourselves a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Going up against a pretty cool team. He has the Calyrex or Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. Alongside with Whimsicott, Kai Ogre. Then he has a Torkoal Venus Recombo. And last but not least, the one and only Incineroar. Okay, how am I playing this one? How am I playing this one? So Trick Room could definitely be scary. He could go Incineroar. As a lead and then fake out and try to pop a trick room. So I kind of want to try to counter that. But how could I counter that? How could I counter that? Maybe like switcheroo. I could go Zassian here as well. I'm going to go Zassian, Wimscott. Just straight up as a lead. I really do like that. We're going to bring Kyogre in the back end. Because if he sets up Heat, we're going to want to set the rain and roll off from there. And last but not least, do we go Rillaboom? Rillaboom or Reggie? I'm thinking I'm going to go Rillaboom. Just have a backup Dynamax Pokemon. Because we can't Dynamax Reggie Drake. That's just like... like He's going to do nothing. He's going to do nothing. He's just going to get dumped on. He's just going to get dumped on. So having Rillaboom and Kyogre, those are my two Pokemon that I can Dynamax. I'm going to be bringing them in here and rolling out from there. Well, let's see who this guy leads. I'm kind of curious to see if he wants to go into the Trick Room combo. Or if he goes into the Drown combo, we can always swap in Kyogre, which could work wonderfully. Or I can just uh, switch a and go into the... Uh, the... What's it called? The Quick Attack. I could switch a this thing. We're going to go into you. We could go Tailwind here. Tailwind into... I think we're just going to switch a Rue this Kyogre. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to get rid of this Kyogre here. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. I'm just worried about this other Pokemon later. So quick attack into you. We're going to also do a nice little switch a Rue. We're going to take this item here. And we're just going to get rid of it. Hopefully he Dynamax him. That could be a gorgeous turn. He protects. Son of a... Biscuit. 
Son of a biscuit. How dare you? What is he doing here? He's scaring me a little bit. What is Whimsy going for? Moonblast? What's Whimsy doing? Trick room. How dare you? So he uses me as a threat. He uses me as a threat. I don't know what to do here. I do not know what to do here. Wow, what a play. I'm just gonna leave this on. I would rather swap out and see my one's got for later. You know, we're just gonna go here. And I know we're dead soon, so I'm just gonna drop this. What a play by him. Oh my god, we could have switched a rude! What am I doing? I had it. I had the switcheroo, but I overthought. I overthought. That was an easy switcheroo. Wow. I was just thinking, like, okay, he just saw what I wanted to do. There's no way he's gonna die to me. Pulls this out. Pulls this out. This dude's an animal. This dude's an animal. This guy's gonna taunt me. That's fine. We're attacking you anyway. Okay, so he saw he saw that coming, but still, it would have been a speed tie. So we quick attack there. We know he's taking me out with the guys. We we know we we we've been had seen this. We've been had seen this. And Zassian's gonna get dumped on, and I'm kind of cool with this, because now I'm going to bring out my Rillaboom, and I know my Rillaboom outspeeds now. Which wonderful Moonblast gonna fly here? And yeah, we can Dynamax him pretty easily here. His speed should be thriving with this. No five? Yeah, we should be. We should be chilling. We should be chilling. And do we think Kai regards like what's the play here? What's the play here? This Kyogre could definitely guard. Could definitely guard. And I'm thinking of just going after his whimsy. It's whimsy poo. It'd be lovely. It'd be lovely. And we did get the special attack drop on him, which is just... It's just beautiful. It's a lovely sight. But I have to go on the Moonblasters. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. We're taunted. And I'm going to Dynamax. And I really want to go into here. I really want to take out Whimscott. But I have to pose a threat on the Kyogre. Even though I think he's going to max guard, right? He's got to max guard. There's no doubt in my mind this dude max guards. He's got a max guard, and if he doesn't, we we taking him out. He's gone. He's a goner. This could be a huge turn for us, but uh, we'll see. Because then he still definitely has a Calyrex in the back. Which is just like, dude, Calyrex can do me dirty. He can do me so dirty. Glacial Lance can. Oh, just looking ugly. He's not guard. He just straight up outspeeds me, which is nutty. He's gonna hit up on my Robum. Robum should be able to soak that. Thank you, Robum. I'm surprised he outspeeds. That's a slow Kyogre. Is this an Iron Ball? Is this thing rocking an Iron Ball? It could be. He's really thriving on the trick room. Jump Soul is going to come out here. It should say bye-bye to him, right? It should say night-night. In the Surge. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. So cool. We drop him, but now the, the worst part's about to come. The worst part's about to come. And that is going to be this, uh, this what's it called? It's Calyrex coming out of here. But finally our Jack Button comes into play. We swap out, and we're going to have to force throw out our final Pokemon, which is you. This is just, this is just not looking good. This is just not looking good. We change weather in our favor, which is great. But again, if Calyx comes out here, it's like, it's got, and he has to come out here. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind he doesn't come out here. Let's see, Calyx. Me no, me no likey. Me no likey Calyx if it comes out. But it gotta be him, yeah. There it is. There's just no doubt in my mind he comes out. So he comes out on the field. He has Trick Room. I don't even know what to do. I think the only way out of this is like... Hit this thing with a Thunder and Paralyze and Max Guard this turn. Because I know for a fact that my Kyogre can eat up a shot, but Robum is not able to. He's going to hard swap into his third or fourth and final Pokemon. It's going to be Torkoal. He changes up. Thunder's going to miss. Thunder's gonna miss. Glacial Lance is flying. Ooh! Oh, bueno. Glacial Lance comes out here. That's a rough, rough, rough play. Rough play. We're able to soak. Thunder's gonna poke. And it does connect, which is gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Can we get the power? We're hoping we get the power here. That's what we're hoping for. Give it to me. Dang it, yo. We go two for two last battle, and then we can't even get it when we want it. When we need it. When we need it. 
I don't know what my play is here. How many turns left in Trick Room? This one hurts. This one hurts the soul. This one hurts the soul. One. Can we land a double max guard? Definitely want to protect you. Can we land a map? We can land it though. There's, there's, there's a chance of it, and we're going to go for it. So if I can waste out Trick Room, we could be sitting in a good spot. Max guard. God. How are we failing this? Hate this game. Looking for a double max card. No bueno. I never get it. I never get it. Eruption can come out here. Oh, dude, you are gone. You are such a goner. He's such a goner. Eruption and. And Glacial Lance? Yeah, yeah, no. It ain't happening. All right, so now he's going to bring out. Could He's probably going to trick him again. I'm not even going to lie. I can definitely see a trick him popping. From Cali Cali. So he might protect the Torx. He might protect the Torkoal. Uh, do I helping hand this? Go into a water spout? Could be our play. Probably would be best bet, right? I just don't see it doing enough damage. Water spout's definitely our play. We don't have weather, but uh... Do we moon blast and double down into Calyx, or do we helping hand? I think we're gonna double down into uh, Calyx here. Moonblast flying. Can this water spout take you out? I don't know if it can. Can you do it, water spout? Can you do enough damage here? It takes out the Torkoal. I think it was a crit, but uh, yeah, it was a crit on the Torkoal. But nowhere near the damage that we want on the Calyx. He pops Trick Room. That's an L. Let's see what he's going to do. No Trick Room? Okay, goes on a high horsepower. Can you eat that? You should be able to eat that. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. That gives us another turn. Okay. So now he's forced to bring out his final Pokemon, which is, uh, who is it? I totally forget who it is. Who did he lead? Who did he lead? I can't remember. Uh, it was Wimscott. It's Wimscott. Ooh. I play. They can both pop a trick room. I'm going to go for Blizzard. Can Blizzard? Can Blizzard land in the, in the heat? Harsh sunlight, bum bum bum. I think it can. I think it's just like Hurricane it kind of messes up. We're going for this blizzard. I'm going to go into you. I think I protect my come out from Calyx and Trick Room. Moonblast flying. Blizzard land. Oh my god. Did we just do it? Did we just pull that off? Yo, I'm the best. I am the best. I am the best. We got a crit on Calyx. It didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. Get him out of my face. That's a GG. That's a winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done. Big old winning record. Two and one. And we clutch up the third and final battle. Another winning record for you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. I absolutely love to see him. We got Reggie Draco out there in the first battle, but that's pretty much it. He's still definitely a lot of fun to use, but he's tough to get in certain situations. But yo, Zassian, Kyogre, cannot go wrong with this team. Once I saw both of them, I was like, I know it's going to be a good video. Chances are we're grabbing ourselves a winning record, and that's exactly what happened. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.